have made it to Medellin. Um, our tour guide said that he's from here and he said that when you are here, instead of the two L's being Y, it's J. So we are in Medellin and we checked into our hotel and it is so cute. I'll show you like the area outside later, but I finally have my own room, which I'm excited about. So let me take you on a little walk through. You walk in, I think this is the closet. Yes, you're here. Here is the bathroom we love. I love that there is a mirror under here. It makes it look so much bigger. Um, we love mirrors, obviously, and look at this. The soap is the labo, and so is the lotion. Like, are you kidding me? So nice. Walk in here, and here is my bed. It is so cute. I'm like so sad I only have two nights here. And then they brought us a little note. Thank you, thank you. But look at how beautiful it is. You can't tell that it's like sunset right now, but it is literally perfect out there and the roof is so gorgeous. But that is a tour of my room. We love it. I'm gonna shower and then get ready for dinner. I have not had food since breakfast this morning and I ate really light and I am starving. I could literally cry. So hopefully time goes by quickly while I get ready for dinner. dinner and I'm actually really sad that I forgot to vlog while I was in my outfit because it's so freaking cute okay it's this super cute orange set I love the long sleeve and I love the short I love a long sleeve short vibe and it's just really really flattering on and it was really cute and we went to this super chill dinner spot it honestly felt like I was back in the States like it was just like really nice and casual and delicious food it was called OCI and we just got back I took my laundry up to the lobby so they can do it because I'm running out of underwear and clothes so I'm about to get unready for bed or get ready for bed unready from the night and this is probably the biggest TV ever and it's so close to this bed I think I'm gonna watch a movie and I never watched TV before bed but that's just the vibe I'm getting tonight because I'm never gonna be in this hotel room again good morning it is my first full day in Medellin and I am wearing these yellow pants that I am obsessed with I've been waiting to wear them it's gonna be hot today and we're touring for literally eight hours so this is my fit for the day. I'm not gonna bring my camera today because I just like, I have nowhere to put it and I don't feel, our tour guide warned us about a lot of pickpocketers. So I just wanna have the least amount of things on my body possible. So I am not gonna bring my camera, but I will be filming on my phone because I think this is gonna be the most interesting city that we go to so I really want to capture everything for you guys and I'm just so excited to go tour it all. I'm gonna go meet my family downstairs for breakfast right now and then we are gonna piece it with our tour guide Andres.
that Momo? No, it's a wave. And then there's the sun hanging over the wave with the toes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to do our signature. Okay, I'll do that quick. We just got back from my day today. It was so cool seeing everything. We went to, we did so much today. We went to, we went to District 13, which was crazy because um, our tour guide was telling us stories about how unsafe and crazy it used to be and it has just made such a transformation and it is so cool to see and everyone is so nice and so sweet and it was just so fun walking around and seeing street performers and just it wasn't it was just like really really wholesome i loved it and we had another tour guide hop in named Gway, and he was a rapper and he opened up a school for like the arts kind of and he did it himself for people of the community to come and work on like artistic stuff instead of result like going towards gang activity is how they explained it to us and we got to graffiti some art we got to watch them choreograph some dances and then there they also have more like graffiti artists and like i said he was a rapper so they have like music classes and stuff and it was just really really cute to see him so passionate about it but that was fun and then we went to lunch in the botanical gardens and it was just absolutely beautiful and the food was really really delicious and then while we were in the botanical gardens we met up with a former member of uh, Pablo Escobar's cartel and he was a former hitman and he has completely transformed his life he went to jail for a few years and he is now a professor he like goes and tells his story just so people can see how it was living in colombia at this time or at that time and like just kind of the effects that went along with it and it was just really interesting listening to him recount everything. I wouldn't, I can't show his face and I wouldn't show his face and I don't, it, like he's pretty secretive about it all. He wore glasses the whole time. He didn't speak English so our tour guide translated the whole thing for us but he was just so interesting and he was such a strong man and it was crazy hearing him recount everything and we got to ask him questions about his time in the cartel and what he had to see and how his daily life went and I don't know it was just crazy but that was the last thing we did and then we came back to the hotel we were gonna go to Don Diablo Steakhouse tonight but our hotel El Cielo actually is a Michelin star restaurant and we couldn't get reservations at the Michelin star restaurant but it literally is right when you walk in on the bottom floor it's the Michelin star restaurant and then right next to it is the regular restaurant and they serve the exact same things they just don't have the same presentation so we're gonna eat there instead and I'm gonna shower I'm gonna wash my hair I am going to film a brand deal that I have to do and then we're gonna go to dinner but that's just kind of a little update from our day in Medellin and I really really wish we had more time here I definitely want to come back here in the future and explore it more and spend more time here and just kind of like go to the restaurants here and shop here and walk around and it's just so so cool and awesome so i could if i were to live anywhere that we've been so far i would live here it just has that feel to it like i would for sure live here but anyways that's my update so Like a green. I slept like a literal baby last night. It was so nice. I'm obsessed with this bed. I only have undone that side, but I literally go like this 
And I just like, oh, it's so amazing. My full bed could never. <laughs> I am packed up. Our tour guide Andres is picking us up right now and we're gonna be set. Hundreds of years, not thousands of years. <laughs> what year? Just got to Pereira and we're staying at this bambusa. <laughs> my brother and I get to be roommates again. So here is our room. It is like literally, I can't even explain what this area is like. These are like the prettiest hummingbirds. They're like black, blue, and white. And then here's our little patio. Oh, there they are. They're fighting. The girls are fighting. There's only eight rooms here, so it is so quiet. It's so nice. I just want to sit here and read all day. And here is our bathroom. Anyways, our plant are in our closet and our shower, which is actually really sick. But right now we are going on a walk around like the whole property and we're gonna see all the cacao plants and how they make all their coffee here and we're gonna try some so i'm really excited to go do that and like whenever you walk outside you can like literally see the cacao trees which is so insane these are the the only cacao fields that we have nowadays and actually I want to find a, a ripe pot. Maybe you could help me. The, the thing we're trying to find is this color, which is lighter than this, right? But look, this one is infested by a, it's actually a, a caterpillar from a moth. Whoa. Right? No, no, not, not a good one. One, two. Got some weight, weight right? Though. Right? Wow. I know. It's pretty. See. I'm going to have it first and I'm going to give you a, a green light. You start choking means no good. <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it. I like it. You no, do? Don't bite it. Don't chew it. Just suck it. Just suck it? Mm hmm And then you spit it mm. out. Mmm. <laughs> Amazing. So good. So good. So good. Right, people, people don't expect, you know. Wow. Like, mm. like this. It's a little That's like way sweeter. It's a little like chili moya. Mmm. <laughs> or chili moya. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, the flavor. Oh, well, maybe mango chili, yeah. Normally they are uh, purple, right? This one is uh, white. Fermentation. What you do is that you place all those beans right here in these different drawers. That smells good. Right. It smells better, right? And actually, mm. actually, well, in some of these uh, crevices, I find some some beans, right? So once back uh, at home, those monkeys. That's hard work. It is hard work. We are making our own like hot chocolate. What? An apron? Yeah. I do want that. So guys, you know how to make chocolate? No idea. Yeah, <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you know how to get to this, right? Yes. It's really simple. It's just harvesting the ripe uh, pots, right? Then establish microorganisms that are going to, to ferment the dose, right? Then let them ferment. After okay. fermentation, you dry and you get this. 
Most of these uh, beans are really good beans. So for the for the five of us, we can fill this uh, pan with uh, with the beans. Actually, 90% of them look really good. What we don't like to have, like broken beans, or these ones that look like like shrunk, not de not well developed, right? Um, they're ones that are multiple beans. Bueno, right? bueno, bueno, bueno. Most of them are buenos, buenos. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. And, w and wait a second, wait. Even better. When we start, you know, to to roast them, because roasting is so important in the roasting process. We're going to um, what to develop, you know. This. It smells like sugar. Because it can give me a fry. Oh, very good. <coughs> oh, that is hot. Yeah. Okay, this is what Jamie would do with chestnuts. She didn't care how hot they were. She'd get right in there. Yeah. Really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mother! Sorry. Here, do it in this. These are hot as shite. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have tender fingers. Yeah. Oh, one of those oh, right. uh, American uh, competition. It smells like Corona. Christmas. It smells like a weaker hot chocolate. Yes, yes, but if you don't like it, you don't have to drink it all, you know, to, to be polite and don't worry. Just uh, I see if, if, you, if you feel like that's not your, your thing. <laughs> Is it super um, hot? Yeah. It's a little hot, but Indigenous it's people use that when they have like like stomach issues. This? Yes. I could easily have this instead of coffee in the morning. Liar. <laughs> I could. But you I still probably... get the, the caffeine. Oh, does this have caffeine? Yes, yes, yes. it does. It does. Yeah. It's good. It has it's the very mild. It and theobromine. Both are alkaloids, you know, both uh, do kind of uh, are the same. They keep you uh, awake. It kind of tastes like coffee. It does. It's like a coffee, mm -hmm. chocolate coffee. Yeah. <laughs> a mocha. It's just a husk. That's just the husk. That's just the husk. That's, water. Husk. That's it. Yeah, I like this better than coffee. <laughs> I do. So you don't you don't drink uh, coffee thought at all every no. day. Every day, yeah, like ten yeah. cups a day. Every day, American See? coffee and a so lot. Good. My skin is so bad now. Uh, I'm getting a facial the second I get home. Good morning from the Bambusa Hotel. We woke up, got ready, or we're I'm getting ready right now. I went and ate outside. There are literally eight rooms in this whole hotel, so we are taking up a quarter of it, which is so crazy. It is so beautiful, but you know what it kind of makes me feel like? It feels like I'm in the menu. If you have not seen that, you need to go watch it. I just feel like I'm in the menu. But I didn't sleep the best. Pierce slept terribly. But you know what, we're gonna, I had two cups of coffee. We're gonna get ready, and then we're gonna go tour like the town and do like all the coffee plantations, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm gonna get ready and cover my whole body so I can't get attacked by bugs. There's so many bugs here. <laughs> Coffee plants. So the coffee that we grow in Colombia is Arabic. It's 
not 100 percent arabica there is like two big families of coffee which is the robusta one the one that has more caffeine the one that produces brazil so 60 percent of the coffee that is consumed in the world is um robusta or canefora and then 40 percent is arabica we produce 30 percent of what the world consumes 30% of Arabica, wow. but it's not 100% Arabica because Arabica was originally very wicked and it was attacked by many pests. So because of that, the, end, uh, the Coffee Federation, we have like a big business of science uh, with the coffee. They develop different varieties, so you know, they get strong. So they mix this variety of Robusta and Arabica in order to uh, work our trees to have more coffee and to uh, avoid or to repel pests. Okay, so the thing that you taste is the coffee seed. We need to germinate that, not in soil, in dark soil, but in sand, because the sand is softer and it can absorb more nutrients. So then Leo needs to go down to the river, then get some sand and start the germination process. After two months, we will have this first step that is called match. It look like a match. One month after, then it loses the shell, it opens the wings, and then this second step is called chapola or butterfly because it's said like a butterfly. Después, después con chapola los dos meses las pasamos a estas bolsas para que aquí con buena raíz y todo lo que tenga. La broca siquiera con el hongo se aplaca mucho, ¿no? Pero la luz es dinámica. Y la roya también es más así because of the material that is made. So this is a stainless steel. Right, that's right. There is a machine that does this, you know, the, the removing of the, of the husk. And the, and the husk is the same the parchment that you use as a fuel when you want to... Oh, in there. Exactly. Okay. It's basically this, this paper uh, shell. Is the case? Burn, they burn that, and that's a fuel, you know, to dry his traditional one, the one that he sells to the co-op. Yeah, that's this two, the gray one and the blue one. There are the roaster machines. This is just con, con el... How we roast coffee? With natural gas. Why we cannot use the gas that he produces? Because coffee is like a sponge. It's absorbed into everything. So you can uh, have gas that's going to contaminate the coffee. Yeah. And he is doing his own prime. Well, he wants to get very good trust. 40 minutes, not much time, right? So we turn that on fire, it's going to take 5 minutes to go to work. And we're going to see how it works. We're going to oh, see. okay. Wait. But 
I'm not gonna grind her own coffee beans. <laughs> How much would you pay for a uh, pound of? Oh my gosh. Super. Okay. Actually, it's not pork, it's cow. It's cow. Yes. Narcotráfico. Pero no es porque las matas se hubieran vuelto malas, sino porque el hombre les dio otro uso. So we're going to start talking about those two plants, marijuana and coca. So people is very scared when we talk about them because they think about narcotráfico and bad things. But they are not bad plants. We have been using coca and marijuana for all our life from our ancestors, from Indian yeah. people. However, it's the way that people start using them. So Doña Lika is going to give you one bag to each of you, so you can decide where all this <gasps> Amazing! Wow! Did you get the coca marijuana? No. <laughs> with the herbs inside, it's a problem with the name. So if you just take out the etiquette, not the coca, it's just dry leaves. All right. This is for when, when you get detained, get Alejandro's number so you can... <laughs> We are trapped in the forest, so we're playing again. Those have to be a I'm really agile. So is <laughs> We just got back and the woman said that we have a special dinner planned. We're all exhausted. We've been in the car for over two hours, but we're starving, so whatever they say. <laughs> There's a prize for the winner, right? <laughs> uh, we can do this uh, a competition if you if you want. I don't know yeah, what you want to, to, to bet. <laughs> don't know if you that's just that's just our family's <laughs> nature. Sample B, sour, great. Sample C, bitter, and sample D, sweet. 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 What like uh, fragrance there? Like, like very, very small spice. <laughs> spice. What? The kind, the kind of spice. Eyes. She said coffee, and I laughed, and I <laughs> breathed into it, and all went back in my throat. <laughs> Sorry. And, Thank uh, you. I'm, I'm getting kind of a hint of licorice with an undertone of rum. See? No, he's bullshit. He's <laughs> <not>. <laughs> it smells like decomposition. Yeah. Decomposition? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm so sure getting in the way. I'm the, high up. Uh, what do you choose? I'd probably do. I like one smell better, but I think I'll, I'd like to taste it too. Oh shoot! I didn't charge my camera last night. I'm filming on my phone today. Good morning, everybody. We just woke up, and we are gonna go river rafting in like a bamboo flow and I'm so excited about it. Yesterday was perfect, it was just so fun. I love doing activities and learning about like the culture while we do the activities. So I'm excited to float down a river and learn things. But my outfits are officially down the trash. I'm wearing this t-shirt, these yoga pants, and crew socks. So let's go float down a river.
so excited. So I'm feeling extra horseback ready. Let's go. No, come back. Hola. Raquel. If you know you. See in a few said yeah. <laughs> run on a horse so it was so fun just running through the hills it was crazy I actually felt like just so free which sounds so lame but I'm serious and uh, we got to go through rivers and then afterwards we ate at the ranch the wife cooked us food and it was so delicious and now we just got back to the hotel it's Father's Day and we are the only people staying at this hotel. So we can do whatever we want. We're gonna lay by the pool, we're gonna have a few drinks, I'm gonna get it. I just ordered an Aperol Spritz. And it should be a good, relaxing last day to our trip, so. Okay, everyone left me. So now I'm alone in the pool, having my Spritz, my second of the day. They made these really strong. <laughs> I feel like usually I can have like three or four and then I feel it. I'm on number, after I finished number one, I was like, whoa, I'm a little buzz. But we're reading, it's so nice. I've had multiple spiders and bugs and everything crawl on me, which I'm not really enjoying. So I feel like I might pack up the pool and go read on our hammock. Cause we have a hammock right outside of our room and there's a million hummingbirds outside which is kind of ideal so i might just go do that because i'm not enjoying all of the spiders and flies and wasps and 